So today we're gonna talk about something pretty real, and that's ATV theft. Now, thousands and thousands of ATVs and side-by-sides are stolen every year, and that's only here in America. So we're gonna talk about five different methods for properly securing your machine. And make sure you stick around to the end, because the last one's my personal favorite and probably the least expensive. Hey, do you wanna stay up to date on the latest ATV trails, reviews, and news? Obviously you do. So hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss our future videos. All right, so the first method for securing your ATV we're gonna talk about today is the wheel lock. Now you might be asking why this one first? Great question, by the way. Quite honestly, it's because this is my least favorite one. Now, as you can probably see just from looking at this, it's designed to just clamp right around your wheel and then lock and you're good to go. Now, there's a couple things that are great about this and a couple things that are not so great. So let's start with what is great about this. Well, for one, it's pretty universal. I mean, it's gonna fit around almost any machine out there. Now, the second thing I really like about this style is it completely immobilizes your machine. I mean, unless your machine is extremely light, no one's gonna be able to take it anywhere without trying to find a way to break this. And as you can see, I mean, it's a pretty solid build. Yeah, you could probably come at it with a hammer for a while, something like that. But again, the amount of time it's gonna take you to do that, you're not you're not gonna want to, which is gonna lead me to another thing I love about this one. And that's the fact that it's a visual deterrent. This clamped around your wheel is pretty much gonna send a signal right off the bat that it's secured and someone's just gonna move on. If someone's looking for an easy ATV theft, they're gonna see this bright yellow thing hanging off the wheel and they're just gonna move on to the next one. The last thing I wanna say about this that makes these ones great, with that universal aspect, you can lock it right onto your trailer. So if you have it on your ATV, you get somewhere, you take it off your ATV, you can just slide it right onto your trailer and now your trailer's secured while you're out hitting the trails. Now, as far as what I don't like about this one, well, honestly, it's just, it's heavy and huge. Come on, man. But other than that, I mean, it's a pretty solid concept. They're relatively inexpensive. If you don't mind having this giant piece of metal with you or steel, it's a good option. All right, so next up, we've got the anti-theft vibration alarm. This is actually, it's pretty slick. I'm not gonna lie, it, it's pretty slick. Basically, you've got a vibration sensor that's got a triaxial accelerometer. I know, that sounds super smart when I say that. It took me like 15 times to actually get that right. So it's got a vibration alarm and a remote control. You put this somewhere on your machine that's not too obvious. And essentially what's gonna happen is, let's just assume you put this under the vehicle. We're gonna just stick it here. You hit arm, armed, and then you come and you give her a little shake like you're gonna try and take it. You get chirp, that's your first warning. Second warning. Third warning. Now what's great about this? A few things. Number one, it's freaking loud. I mean, legitimately loud. If, if this goes off, 90% chance, that's a made up statistic, really good chance that the, the thief is just gonna go running. Now the second thing I really like about this is the fact that it actually comes with this here remote control. And with this remote control is another thing I love and that's the fact that you can actually set the sensitivity seven different levels. So if you're in an area where you think it's just, it's too sensitive and a little vibration is possible, you can turn it down so that it will take more vibration to set off the alarm. And lastly, I just wanna say on these, they're really inexpensive. I mean, this was well under $20 and that's pretty awesome. So even if you lose it or it breaks after one season, that's really still worth the money that you paid for it. Now, what I don't like about it, a few things. Number one, this device right here is not waterproof. That's obviously a big deal. So that's avoidable because what you can do is you put Velcro on the back and then you just Velcro it on your machine when you're not gonna use it. Great idea, right? Problem with that being you have to remember to remove it because if this gets wet, you're pretty much screwed. So if you have this Velcro on the bottom of your ATV, not only is mud and gunk and everything else gonna rub on it and get in there, a little bit of water is gonna fry this thing. But again, at $15 a pop, if you go through one every season, is it that big of a deal? I don't know, maybe it is, maybe it's not, you tell me. Now, a couple other issues with this here device is this requires batteries. So if you're gonna plan on using this in your garage where you're gonna store it for an extended period of time, you're probably gonna have to check on those batteries somewhat frequently. And lastly, let me just say on this one, the remote control, it's got a pretty short range. I think it's around 50 feet or so. Is that long enough? Yeah, probably. I mean, if you're gonna have it outside your RV or your tent on the campground or, or you know, out by the truck, whatever it may be, that's probably fine. But much more than that, it's not gonna do you any good. 
All right, so number three is the Baboa Disc Lock Anti-Theft System. And quite frankly, I love this one just because of the name. I mean, Baboa, like who doesn't like saying that? So this is actually a pretty awesome piece of equipment. And let me, uh, you know, let's just step over to the machine and I'll show you how this one works. All right, so the way these are designed to work is you use the holes on your disc brake there. So all you really have to do is go ahead and line it up with one of those holes and then you just push the lock in and it's gonna push a pin through your disc lock and hold that on there and act as a motion sensor and then keep your tire from being able to turn. Now let's test the motion out. All right, so I gotta say, in regards to the motion sensor on this, it's not as good as I would have liked. I mean, you can see the amount of movement it took. Now again, if someone's trying to steal the machine and they're spinning the tires or the tires are rotating, yeah, it's probably gonna go off, but it took longer than I would have liked. All right, so what I like about this system, for number one, it's basically a combination of the first two we talked about. For the most part, yeah, it's not as visually deterring as, say, the wheel lock, but it combines a lot of the same features. The way it's gonna lock onto your brake disc, right? That's gonna stop your wheel from being able to turn. So the vibration sensor we just got done talking about, it's got that built in as well. So again, it, it's kind of a combination of the two. And as opposed to item number two that's not waterproof, this is also actually waterproof. On top of that, as far as keys go, it comes with three. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Two, that's normal. Three, that's awesome. And lastly, this thing comes with a sweet pouch that you can put on your belt and take with you so that when you stop for a burger, you can pull this bad boy out because nothing says I'm a bad donkey like being able to pull this bad boy out of your belt and snap it onto your ATV when you stop for a burger. Yo, yeah, be right there, Jim Bob. Let me just lock this mean machine up before we go get them beers, eh? Yeah, yeah, if anybody would have told me it was gonna be raining during this bit, I would have came up with something else, you know? <laughs> All right, maybe not, but I do like the fact that it comes with this because I can use it as a case and just put it in there and throw it in my bag. So what I don't like about it, number one, again, this uses batteries. Now, I will say in their defense, not only did it come with batteries, but they actually included an entire spare set of batteries. On top of that, as we look at it, it's not really gonna be a visual deterrence, right? I mean, you can see it, but when it's locked up in your wheel, no one's really gonna be able to tell that's there. And that's a little concerning because since they don't know it's there, if they try and take the machine and they're really trying to force it and they don't see that that's in there stopping the wheel, it could actually end up damaging your ATV. The next one, and I know we all like to say that we're not, but quite frankly, this is dangerous if you're lazy. And I say that because it's real easy to just slap this on and forget about it. You get out, you're excited, you wanna go riding, you take off, now this is gonna cause problems when your wheel starts to turn. And it does come with this awesome little lanyard, and I say, I say that seriously, not sarcastically, so that you can put this up onto your handlebars to remind you that it's there. But again, we all like to say we're not lazy, but maybe we're in a hurry, we don't use this, it gets left in the truck, whatever, we throw this on, and then you forget about it. And the last bit of concern for this is it's not gonna fit everything. I mean, it should fit most, but if your wheels are, are a little unique, or depending on your setup, there's a chance it won't fit. So just make sure you look at your disc brake and see See that you have some slots and that you're going to be able to fit something about this size in there before you purchase this one again links to check out the dimensions and all that are below so the next one is this handlebar brake and these are actually really cool as long as it works for your machine and the way it's designed is your brake lever goes through one hole and then your handlebar goes through the other and it's basically going to keep your brake applied so that your wheel can't turn so again if we just wrap it in there and then we got to squeeze it in and boom and now the brake is applied now you'll notice right now on this scrambler there's a little gap they come with spacers to help fix that but again if you're going to get one like this check it out first test it make sure that you can't just wiggle it off all right so what do i actually like about this quite frankly a lot i think this is a great idea and concept for locking your machine as you can see it's just a it's an easy quick 
process to set up. There's not a whole lot to it, which is a bonus when you're out in the mud, in the dirt, in the rain, and everything else. Speaking of which, they claim it's rust proof, waterproof, dust proof, all, all the proofs, right? And uh, it's just a simple device to put on. You squeeze your, your brake and you put that on your handlebar, you snap it in, you're good to go. So it's nothing that's gonna take you long to get set up. It's small, it's easy, it's gonna fit in your backpack or in just a storage bin on your machine. Whatever you got, super simple and easy to use. And that's a bonus because the harder the device is to set up, the less you're actually gonna end up using it. So what I don't like about this, as you may have already guessed, when you look at this device here, it's not gonna fit a side by side, right? So this is only gonna be good for ATVs. And secondly, when you look at this, you might realize it, there's a chance it might not fit your ATV, right? Now they claim this is a one size fits all for all ATVs and all motorcycles, but I mean, come on, like there's no way that's true, right? For example, I feel pretty confident in saying this would probably not have fit my Honda 400 because this is too big of a hole. Come on, man. Uh, it does come with some nice rubber gaskets or whatever you wanna call these that you can put in here and, and kind of make to fit your steering wheel, right? But or steering wheel handlebars. But at the end of the day, it's, it's just, I mean, those can easily just kind of be pulled out. I, it's gonna clamp down. I, again, I just, I refuse to believe that this is gonna work for all machines. So when you buy it, you know, make sure you're in a position where you could probably return it if it doesn't work for you. Now, lastly, let me just say, one of the complaints for some of these is that they seize up and they make it extremely hard to remove from your handlebars. Now, I put a link in the show notes for this one below. So again, it'll take you right to this specific model. But if you start perusing around, perusing, browsing, browsing around, you might find that you end up with one where some of the reviews talk about how it locks up or it, it you know, it doesn't work real well. Uh, I'm not saying don't look at other ones. I'm just saying be cautious of that and read the reviews and make sure that there's not a lot of complaints stating that this seized up on their ATV or motorcycle. All right, we've made it to the last one. And like I mentioned, this is probably my favorite and my regular go-to. And that is quite frankly, a simple cable and lock. Okay, now I know there's got all these fancy devices out on this table right now, but just a simple cable and lock seems to be what I always fall back to. And for a couple of reasons, one, they're extremely inexpensive. So you can have one or two or three of these laying around and it's not that much money, even when you add the padlock onto it. Number two, even a thick, good quality, heavy duty cable is still gonna be pretty lightweight and easy to have with you in your truck or in your backpack, whatever you got. And ultimately, one of the reasons that I love these and I keep coming back to them is they're really versatile, right? I mean, I can hook this around a light pole. If my ATV is in the back of a truck, I can hook it around one of the eyelids in the back of the truck. I can hook it to another ATV here side by side and that makes it a lot harder to try and steal when there's multiple of them together, right? So it's just, it's extremely versatile. It's extremely easy to use. You just have to have something solid to hook it to and you're good to go. Now there's one thing about this system that I don't like and that's the fact that it's pretty large and long, right? That's what she said. Come on, man, like really? Come on. Uh, so handling the cable can be a mess, right? Because you you are trying to get all this like wrapped together and, and then tucked in a bag and you got the lock or whatever versus this, right? Like this is a lot cleaner, simpler, you know, more basic, easy to throw in a storage compartment or a bin. This, this is a lot more. So there is that, but again, it just, it always ends up being my fallback. I just, I like the fact that I can strap multiple machines around it or, you know, hook it up in a truck, whatever I got to do. It's simple, it's inexpensive, and it just works well. So that's why I keep coming back to it. Now, there's one more I got for you as a bonus for sticking around this far into the video, and that is just use a gun. Oh, we're not, we decided we weren't gonna do that one? That's my bad. Sorry guys, that's, that's, uh, that's my bad. I'm just gonna put that away. Forget I said anything about that one. Warning, guns are harmful and should only be used by trained adults who can do things like protect themselves, protect others, win wars, protect their property, help the cops during gunfights in the streets outside banks like in the movie Heat. Great movie, by the way. Fine, all right. Look, guns should only be used by responsible, law-abiding citizens. Are we good? All right, so thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and and I hope to see you on the trail. Yeah, yeah, if anybody would have told me it was gonna be raining during this bit, I would have came up with something else, you know? <laughs>